Hey y'all, this is Sisters Mess. How y'all doing? I hope y'all blessed and highly favored. I hope y'all staying out of trouble. Staying in the will of the Lord. Cause there's so much mess going on. Halloween was just days ago and somebody dressed up in a costume and really played the part. Really cut somebody's leg off acting like Michael Myers, Halloween. And somebody shot somebody up in the garage with the same costume on. On, costume on. It don't make no sense. The devil has really got a hold on people. They really, they really let that costume possess them into taking somebody, to taking another person's life and cutting another person's leg off. The devil is showing people every day. He is trying to take many people out as he can. He could curl less. And the ones he used, he could curl less. He can't do it himself, so he used y'all to go do his dirty work. So you can destroy your own soul in the process. Because he know you can't get God's kids. So he already know your soul already, you already, you know, you got a chance to repent. But your soul already his because you're doing what he asked you to do. He just wants you to join him in the lake of fire. Because he got to bow down. Him and his children got to bow down. And him using y'all. And y'all don't ever repent and think y'all need God. And y'all think it's cool to work for Satan. You going to be right there next to him. You think the burner on the stove hot. We can't imagine how hot that is. And by the time y'all realize God has been true all along. It's going to be too late. It's going to be too late. Ah, oh, because y'all want to serve Satan. When Satan don't even like you. Satan hates you. Satan probably hope you don't wake up tomorrow. Y'all don't even take one look in that Bible or try to get to know and see if God is real before you denounce him. He is your creator. His daddy let him down across for your sins to give you a chance to be free of sin and bondage. Having your flesh lead you, getting you in all kinds of situations. He leaves you with his Holy Spirit once you let him in and you live for Christ where your Holy Spirit can keep your flesh under control. Because if you keep let, being led by your flesh, you're going to end up dead. Because the flesh is not tamed. It's not going to bring you nothing but destruction. It only wants to feed off of things that's not of God. And it'll do anything because the flesh is weak. But if you let God in and you live for Christ... And you get baptized in Jesus name and filled with the Holy Ghost. Your flesh going to fight your spirit daily. But I, your flesh ain't going to your flesh ain't going to outwin the Holy Spirit. I'm sorry. Especially when you got to feed your soul. You got to feed that inner man. Stay in the presence of the Lord. Stay in, in prayer. Your word. Praise his name. Strengthen your faith. And you can overcome. Every obstacle that you're going through because he overcame it on the cross. Ain't no way you can't do it. That's why he, he paved the way for us. We have no excuse. But people don't want to. They don't want to do the work. It's too hard to give up things that you used to. Sex without being married. Smoking, drinking, partying. Provocative things that you're wearing. Sleeping with somebody else's husband. Having threesomes. All kind of stuff. It's not good anyway. But your flesh don't want to stop doing it. So you. Don't want to take the time out to do the, re the work. On strengthening your spiritual man. To defeat your flesh. It's too hard for you to stay in the word and read what is good. I don't understand that. I didn't want to be living for God if I was going to half do it. I kept going in and out of the church all my life. 
I didn't want to, I didn't, I didn't, I didn't know that we could make mistakes and still be considered as Christians and God still be with us. I kept running because I didn't think I was worthy. I didn't think he was forgiven like that. I wasn't taught the right way. But now that I know God for myself, I know that he will forgive me. If I fall, he will pick me up as long as my heart is still with him. As long as I'm trying. As long as I'm living for him the best I can. And when I get weak, call on him to strengthen me. He never said it was going to be easy. But you got to carry your own cross. If you want salvation and you want things to change in this world. We trying to take God's kingdom. We trying to build his kingdom. You understand me? We trying to build his kingdom up and bring people back to the love of God. And know that Satan is a lie. That you can come out of darkness. You can come out of anything that you go through. That's keeping you in bondage, sadness, depression, anxiety, sickness, mental illness. If you put your trust in your mind and your faith on him. And you just slowly let the Holy Spirit guide you because it's going to comfort you. When you got a broken heart, it's going to comfort you. He's going to heal the, the broken hearted, the wounded. Everything you go through, if you fear, give it to God. He going the Holy Spirit going to comfort you. It speaks to your heart. He lets you know what's to come. What the Lord wants you to know, it gives you the words. When something is going on with you, the scriptures pop up in your head that you need to know to get you through things. The Holy Spirit teaches you. You just got to be willing to let go and let God and give it to him and know that his word is true. And his word would never come back to him void. His word is what's feeding your soul. You can't live on bread alone. You got to feed off that word. That word is true. It's people that been through the same thing you didn't been through before. So it ain't like you can't get through it. It's, it was others before you. With the same situations. Same struggles. And God never left them. And as long as they had faith in God, he brought them out. And he defeated their enemy. He got the victory, not the enemy. He just want to know that you're going to trust in him and that you're not going to turn back and that you're going to keep seeking him and that you're going to be patient and wait on him for you to get results on everything that you prayed for, for you to believe it's going to happen. Ain't nothing coming for free. You got to keep fighting. If you think you worth it, your life and your children's life and their children's life and the people that's closest to your heart and God, period, you ain't going to let no devil make you get out the game, get out, get out the race. You know what I mean? You're going to keep pushing through. You're going to say steadfast. If God didn't think you was capable he wouldn't have forgave you for your sins and gave you grace. And made you worthy to serve his kingdom. If he was just going to give up on you, ain't no way he going to give up on you. You got to be the one to give up on you. And I think I don't know how to give up no more because I think stronger. He's stronger than me. Than, he, than him that's in the world. And that's what keeps me. No matter what I go through. I cry. It ain't easy. I go through ups and downs. It's not good sometimes. But I get through it. And every level is another devil. And you just got to keep going through it. Because he's going to keep putting obstacles in your way. Till you get where you need to be. In your walk with God. To your, to your, your his plan for you align with him. His word. Until you align with the plan that he has for your life. 
you're going to keep going through that same cycle. That same cycle till you can overcome it. Till you can accomplish that mountain that's in your way. And move it. So that you can enjoy all the Lord has for you. Because he's not going to take it back. It's waiting on you. You got to be ready. So you can be able to keep and stay where he put you. Because you got work to do. It ain't about us. It's about his kingdom. But that peace to me means everything. Hey, I ain't got to have no big mansion. Never know if he going to bless us with one. As long as we live a comfortable, blessed life. Whatever he give me, I'm going to be grateful. I'm going to be grateful. Because waking up in the morning is more than enough to be grateful for. And that you still hear out the enemy try to take you down. That's more than enough to be grateful for. Anyway. Y'all keep loving on God. Don't y'all give up on him. He didn't die on that cross in vain. You got to carry your own cross. You got to quit whining so much and stay in that race. Think positive. Know that it's a way out. Know that it is a way out. Work on strengthening your faith. Faith, you mean not faith. Strengthening your faith, excuse me. Stand in God's presence. Not let negativity overtake you. See your way out the situation already by faith. Walk by faith, not by sight. Take heed to the warning when your spirit is nudging you about something ain't right. Pray about it. Even before you make decisions. Always keep God first. And uh, may the Lord's face continue to shine upon all of you. And I pray that no weapons that's formed against you or your loved ones shall not prosper. But everything the Lord has for you, that he has planned for you, will prevail in Jesus' mighty name. I decree and I declare it. And so shall it be. In the name of Jesus. Y'all have a blessed night.